How you doing guys? It's Kevin back with another video. I've been out here looking for some real mushrooms. It's real early in the season and I can see a bunch of feathers here. It looks like maybe a kill of some type. Well, anyhow, I'm going to be talking to you just a little bit about morel mushrooms today. Uh, hopefully we could find a nice uh, patch of them here. Never know. Like I said, it's real early in the season. So, uh, as soon as I find some here, we'll talk a little bit about them. This is what I was looking at, all the feathers on the ground. It's like something might have got killed back here. Maybe a hawk got another bird or an owl or something because there's a big old piece right there. It looks like a ball. It's a ball of feathers. Weird. Now when you're hunting these mushrooms, you want to stop and look because if you're walking, they look so much like the leaves. You'll walk right over them. You'll actually step right on them. So stop and look around. Don't walk so fast. Now I've never mushroomed hunted in this area here. So I'm not sure what's in here. But they'll grow just about anywhere. You just want to make sure you take your time and look the ground over good. Now, like I said in my last video, we got a lot of turkeys, and you can see the turkeys have torn up this ground. It's just tore up everywhere. You know, it's funny, some of the things you find in the woods. Now, this is one of them old cables they would use to log with. They'd hook it inside that thing, and they'd uh, pull the tree out of the woods was laying buried in the ground here but uh, yeah, it's kind of weird but neat fine I won't be taking it home I'm gonna hang it in a tree there and just leave it there too much for me to be carrying around I've been out here for a few hours haven't found any mushrooms yet and I got rain coming so I'll have to uh, do this video another time but I don't think the mushrooms are really out here yet because we need rain. I'm in southwestern PA and we need rain. So to get these mushrooms going, we need a lot more rain. And then some sun. We'll pop them right out of the ground. But I've enjoyed this walk. So, you know, ain't nothing better than getting out and doing a little bit of walking. It's not going to hurt you. And, uh, and by looking at me, I need a lot of walking, so. I see rain coming over the horizon there, so. I'm going to beat feet, see if I can get home before I get soaked. Well, I made it back home before the rain. Uh, there should be any reason why I can't finish this video and talk to you, still talk to you a little bit about the morale mushroom. As I told you before, I went into Barnes & Noble and picked up a wild edible mushroom book. And uh, I did learn a lot uh, from this book because I knew that there was different types of morel, but I didn't know there was as many. Um, in this book, you have one, two, three, four, five. There are six different types of morel. They have the yellow morel. Um, and I'll show you a picture of the yellow morel. Each one of these, I'm going to try to show you a picture because I know that I can't find all these in the woods. Then they have a thick-footed morel, a black morel, a white morel. It's another one called the half-free morel. And then there is called the false morel. Now, before I got this book, I didn't know that there was a poisonous morel. And I'm going to try to show you a picture of each one of these so you know when you're out in the woods, you don't want to get that false morel, the poisonous one. That's for sure. 
So I'm going to see if I can get a picture of each one of these on there. And then uh, that way you'll know when you're in the woods, definitely, you know, what ones you can and cannot eat. This one here would be called the yellow morel. Yellow morel. This one here would be called the thick footed morel. This one here would be called the black morel. As you can see the black tips on it. This one here would be called the white morel. This one here would be called the half free morel. And this one here would be called the false morel. This morel is poisonous. You do not want to eat it. It almost looks like it's been stepped on. It doesn't, it's not, doesn't look good to eat anyhow. So this would be called the poisonous morel. It's not good. It's called the false morel. I'm sorry. Well, I hope that helps some of you out on the mushroom hunting. So you do want to be careful out there um, while you're mushroom hunting. You know, you don't want to eat something you don't know for sure. And I myself, like I said, I didn't know that there was a poisonous morel until I got the book. But I think this one is just a wild edible mushroom book. Um... <clears throat> and it's a good book. I mean, just pick one up. They're not that expensive. And uh, I don't know if it's got a price on this one. I think this one says uh, $18.95 I paid for this book. But uh, that's a small price to pay for a bad mushroom that could actually kill you. And there's a few of them in here that can kill you. So this is definitely a good book to have while you're out looking for the mushrooms and I myself I really don't eat too many mushrooms that I don't know a hundred percent or I see somebody else eat them uh, and I hate to let them be the guinea pig but I don't want to be it so you know get you pick you up a book man it's it's easy to go out there and uh, get you some food out of the woods man I hope you guys enjoyed my little video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.